Hey kids, welcome back. If school has started where you are, I pray that it is going well. Today I'm going to read scripture out of the book of John. John chapter 9, verses 1 through 12. As he went along, he saw a man blind from birth. His disciples asked him, Rabbi, who sinned, this man or his parents, that he was born blind? Neither this man nor his parents sinned, said Jesus, but this happened so that the works of God might be displayed in him. As long as it is day, we must do the works of him who sent me. Night is coming when no one can work. While I am in the world, I am the light of the world. After saying this, he spit on the ground, made some mud with the saliva, and put it on the man's eyes. Go, he told him, wash in the pool of Siloam. So, so the man went and washed and came home seeing. His neighbors and those who had formerly seen him begged asking, Isn't this the man who used to sit and beg? Some claimed that he was. Others said, No, he only looks like him. But he himself insisted, I am the man. How then were your eyes opened, they asked. He replied, The man they called Jesus made some mud and put it on my eyes. He told them, he told me to go to Siloam and wash. So I went and washed, and then I could see. Where is this man, they asked him. I don't know, he said. This is a beautiful story of a man who was born blind, then Jesus healed him. Could you imagine being in that position? Now back in those days, many people thought that if a person was born blind or with another disease, that it must have been because they or their parents had sinned. Jesus answered them by saying it was not the result of anybody's sin. We too must understand that someone's sickness, their injury or disability is not the judgment of God upon their lives because they have sinned. After all, we all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. We don't always know the reasons why some people live with sickness or disabilities. We also don't know why some are healed and why others don't seem to be. But in this story, Jesus healed the blind man so that the works of God should be revealed. And boy, did it cause a lot of talk in the town. Jesus is our ultimate healer. He, he made ointment out of mud and, and he rubbed it on the blind man's eyes and told him to wash. And the man came back seeing. But there is more to the, the healing of our bodies. God can heal the hurts inside us as well when we give them over to him. So it's challenge time. And this week I want you to think about a person who is struggling with an illness. Whether it's long term or short term or, or a disability they've lived with their whole life. And I want you to pray for them. That they will know Jesus' healing and know that he is with them and he fills them with his joy, peace, and love. So till next time, remember, God made you, God loves you, and God wants to be your friend. See you guys later.